Hello Scorpio, it's a seed in tarot and today is going to be your reading about you and your person. So Scorpio, if you guys are new here, remember to like the video, give this video a big thumbs up here on YouTube so YouTube can see that you like the video and it resonates and push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. Also Scorpio, if it doesn't resonate, I will have a link in the description. It will be your playlist, so check that out. There is a bunch of messages that might resonate for you if this one does not. Remember guys to go over to my Instagram. I have a whole bunch of announcements, sorry guys. Go over to my Instagram, you guys. Check out my Instagram. I will be doing free readings on there, okay? Only on my Instagram will only be free readings, okay? Um, I'm not going to do them anywhere else. Not on this page, not on my website. When that comes around, only on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me on there, you guys. Um, get that page up to 5K so we can start doing these live readings. But anyways, you guys. Let's get into your reading and see what's going on. Scorpio and their person, please. What's going on for Scorpio and their person? Scorpio and their person, please. Scorpio and their person. Wow. Start off with the Three of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my God. Scorpio, there's a third party situation coming through for some of you. I also feel like you're had enough. I feel like for some of you could be married to this person with this Ten of Pentacles being in here, period. Um, and I also feel like, you know, it's about a legacy that you guys have built. Like money is involved here. I feel like you're trying to tie up loose ends with this person, okay? This person wants to come towards you. They have still have a lot of love and respect for you. But however, you know, this person have a lot of anxiety. But I feel like they're going to come towards you anyway because they want to talk to you. I feel like this person has a lot of passion towards you. A passion towards this relationship, okay? They don't want to lose it. But this person's mind was elsewhere. They didn't, they, they wasn't um, there in this relationship. When I say there, they wasn't um, really invested. They wasn't really, um, like their money was there or their, you know, things that they have built together, like you and this person, but they just wasn't there physically. They, their minds were elsewhere, okay, with you. But they're coming towards you. I feel like they're holding up a lot of responsibility or taking a responsibility of what's, what happened here because you are deciding to leave this person behind. You cannot believe this person did this to you, Scorpio. You cannot believe it. Like this person put you through a lot. You need time for yourself. You need time to heal. All right. This is where I see that you're doing for yourself. All right. You need a break from this whole relationship. You haven't made a whole decision yet. Um, the judgment is in reverse, which tells me that the angels are going to get involved. If this person that hurts you or whoever hurt whoever here. So like, keep that in mind, you guys. If you hurt your person, then this message is in reverse. Okay. 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 All right. So this message is in reverse if you hurt your person. But if you didn't, just keep going. Keep going, okay? So this person, I feel like there is a decision that this person has to make, okay? Um, they haven't made it yet, all right? I feel like Scorpio, they look at you as someone that they definitely want to be with, okay? Want to have children with. For some of you, you could have already have kids with, with this emperor, empress being here. Somebody that you already have children with. Three of Wands. Wow, the Fools. Yeah, this person betrayed you. Oof, my God. Deceited you. Some of you, this person stole, stole from you, embarrassed you. You, but your person is waiting for you to come back to them. I feel like they're waiting for you to come back to them. They want to jump back into this relationship, even though they devastated you. They have a lot of love for you. I feel like this person wants a long and stable relationship with you. Look at this. A ten of cups. What? You know, but they moving. They ain't moving, making no movements at all. They're slow. They, they're afraid to come towards you because they uh, they did a lot. Clarify this uh, five of swords, please. Why is a five of swords here? What did this person do? Three cards, please. I just saw the moon. So there could be other people involved in this connection. Other liars, should I say. All right. 
Okay, so they were juggling two things with you. So this is a third party connection, just like I said. They devastated you. So you didn't know that this person existed. You guys were tugging and fighting each other. You know, I feel like this relationship was imperfect. This is what I'm hearing here. Like this person is saying this relationship was imperfect. We were fighting. We didn't see eye to eye. And they want to continue. They want to continue this relationship, but they're not willing to leave this situation. This three of swords because they are saying that they don't know if it's going to work out with you. This is what I'm getting here. And I feel like you, a part of you know that and you're walking away from this person. You're making a choice to find yourself because you lost yourself in this relationship. Wow. I see this person loves being around you, but you guys have a lot to deal with. This person is from your past, so you guys are not even together. The Six of Cups. This person wants a new I want a new start with you, want to start fresh, but you are so hurt and broken from this person that you just don't know if that's something that you want. You're being really cold to this person right now. This person is fighting with a lot of other people. Could be fighting the, the third party and their situation or just your family situation coming towards them because they disrespected you. I'm seeing this person is really just giving everybody a piece of their minds, okay? And it's all about this four of wands here. So it's about you and this person. And your marriage, for some of you, might be married in the opera. So your relationship is upside and down right now. Like, you guys are just not seeing eye to eye. You guys are not getting along. You guys are just not communicating. There's no communication. But yet, this person wants to come back to you. Have a new beginning. But they're keeping that to themselves. But they're going to give you the shot anyway. They're going to try to come back. Hey, look at this marriage. Moving forward, you know, making a decision that is wise. Nobody's in this person's ears, by the way. Nobody. Nobody's in their ears. So whatever they're doing, even if they have these situations going on, nobody is manipulating them. They're not. I feel like this person is standing up for themselves. This is what's going on in the Seven of Wands. Hmm. This person wants to be with you to the point that they are sick in the stomach. They're thinking about you a lot in the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords here. You blocking them. You don't want to invest in this relationship because they invest in you. There's a lot of stuff in the moon that's going on here. Could be close friends lying. This person could have slept with somebody close to you, maybe a friend um, in the moon. Like secrets, secrets, a lot of secrets here that this person is just not letting you in on. It's too hurtful. But they're not complete without you. They don't want to take this relationship to the next level. But you, for some of y'all, y'all, um... Y'all putting the end to this pentacles. Look at it. The page of the, the ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles in reverse. Like, you know, for some of you, you might be going to get a divorce. The strength card. This person is going to come up to you. Look at that. Ooh, they chose you. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of stuff that I see that y'all going through, but it's a lot of good stuff in the end if you hold on. That's what I see. If you hold on. Wow. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave this here. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on YouTube. If it doesn't, I'll have a link on the, in the description box. It will be your playlist. Remember to follow your girl on Instagram. I will have the link right there on my detail tab section. Just click on that link and it takes you directly to my page. All right, guys. Hope to see you over there and I'll hope to see you again and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.